hello friends i welcome back all of you in opal solutions back friend in this video i'm going to tell you how you can download and install packet tracer into your system if you are a basic user or basic student of ccna and ccnp and looking for any software which can help you to configure all of the labs which are included into your ccna and ccnp level syllabus because as a beginner mostly the physical labs are not available to us so we can configure Configure and perform all of the labs in virtual environment through this software it's the Cisco official software so you don't need to worry you have not to pay anything to Cisco to use it it's actually provided to its student for get prepared for the exam one okay you can download it from Google without any course you just have to open any web browser you have you just close right here download packet tracer free so you can download it you will see a long list of websites which provide this software it's a free software you don't need to pay anything to any software site to cisco so okay you can click on the this uh, link and open next window will open here you have to uh, you can see it's a 146 mb software you from here you have to click on the free download in next window you will see that it will going to download for 64 bit operating system you can download it for 32 bit as well so okay here you have to click on start download button it will ask you to start download it will take some time depending on the speed of internet 146 mbs is size of the software so i will start downloading it will take some time i will meet you on the other side of this process when downloading will be completed our so, so friend you can see our downloading has completed we just got this exe file installation is very pretty simple if you compare it with gnsc because gnsc is a little bit advanced software in this case you just have to double click on your exe file and in installation wizard will open in front of you here he has local software license agreement you can read it if you want in other case i will accept the agreement and click on the next button in the next screen it will give you the path where this software is going to be installed you can click on the next screen to create an a shortcut with the name of cisco packet tracer on your start menu you can click on the next button again here he is showing you that additional shortcut will also be created a shortcut will create on your desktop screen and a quick launch shortcut will also create it if you click this option i will check both of these checkboxes and then click on next button he is showing you all the information about uh, installation you can read it otherwise you can click on next install button now software is getting installed it will take some time two to three minutes depending on the system performance and i will meet you when it will completely install into my system software is installed successfully it is showing you a checkbox again if you uncheck then this will not run on when you click on the feature button so i want to run when i click on the finish button so check box check out this box okay and click on the finish button you will see that software will be run in this screen here seeing that you are running packet tracer for the first time and your all of the information will be saved on this path and you can change this information later on by going to enter your option and preferences at later time okay i'm okay with it and if will click on okay button and you will see the in and you will see your software is open Open, but along this software you will see another window and what it is actually Cisco needs your account to use this software Cisco actually Cisco want to make sure that you are actually a student of this exam and you are using Cisco packet tracer for preparing your exam you are not doing any unwanted activity so you can create account by using the clicking user login if you have an account otherwise you can create your new account but if you want to test this off just once you have an option to log in with the software on the clicking on guest login button so in this so for the first time i will click on the guest login and you will see in my case i want to just log in via guest user so you can click on the confirm guest window 
and as you will click on this window you will see your software is ready to use okay you but this login is just for one time the next win time you will open the software you just have to click again on guest login or you have to create account and then login through that account okay this is the first window you will see when your software will open you can see a long list of router at the bottom of the screen you can use all of these router in your system you don't need to import ios files like gns and otherwise you have all of the other options like cloud folder connections and switches and a lot of stuff is available here so this is end of this video here and if you are a beginner user and you want to know how to configure your first lab in packet tracer then you must have to watch our next video in this playlist because this video was just for install and download okay i will see you in the next video there we will creating our next first lab and you shouldn't lose it okay so see you in the next video bye bye from here